In this video, we're going to solve the system of equations, negative 6x plus 5y equals 22, and 2x plus 3y equals 2, using the elimination by addition method. When we use elimination by addition, our goal is to add the equations together in such a way that either the x's or the y's will subtract out to 0. However, you may notice by looking at these equations that the x's will subtract to negative 4, and the y's will add to 8, not 0 for either one. If this is the case, we will manipulate one or both of the equations in order to get opposites in front of one of the variables. We do this by multiplying both sides of an equation by a constant. Notice we have this negative 6x in the first equation. To subtract out with negative 6, we would need a positive 6x. Looking at the 2x, we notice that if the 2x were multiplied by 3, 2 times 3x would give us positive 6x, which would then be able to subtract out with the negative 6x. Of course, we must do both sides of the equation the same way, and let's see what this gives us. The first equation we didn't change, it's still negative 6x plus 5y equals 22. The second equation, when we distribute the 3 through, gives us 6x plus 9y equals 2 times 3, or 6. We now have opposites in front of the x's, negative 6x and positive 6x, which is what we're looking for. They'll subtract out to 0, and when we add the y's, we get 14y equals 28. Finally, we can divide both sides by 14 to isolate the y, which is equal to 2. We still need to go back and find our x value. We can do this by plugging the y value of 2 that we just found into either of the original equations. I like to pick the one with smaller numbers, but both equations will give us the same final result. Let's plug it into the second equation. The second equation is 2x plus 3y. We just found out that y is 2, so we'll plug 2 in for the y. Multiplying will give us 2x plus 6 equals 2, and then we have a two-step equation we can solve by subtracting 6 to get 2x equals negative 4, and finally dividing by 2 to get x equals negative 2. We now have our x-y combination that makes both of these equations true. When x is negative 2, y is positive 2, and that makes both of our original equations into true equations. We got those answers by getting opposites in front of the x's by multiplying the second equation by 3. As you can see, we'll need to make sure we're looking at our problem to see where we're going to get our opposites in front of x or y so that they will subtract out to 0.